What's up, love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. I'm just sitting here in my car at Walmart because I sent my son Terrell in the store. And I thought while I was sitting here, why not just make a video? So I wanted to talk to y'all tonight about, really off the top of my head, <clears throat> what was on my mind was, you know, the blessings of God. Somebody asked me to talk about fasting. Uh, go into Daniel and talk about it. I was going to do that when, um, you know, I had the time to sit, you know, by myself where I could really focus and everything. But right now I was just thinking about something. I was thinking about the blessings of the Lord and how the Lord has been. Like, he truly turns it around. It's like God would take what the enemy meant for bad and turn it into your good. And I'm so thankful for that because I was just thinking how just last week, uh, how I was feeling down and out. And, um, you know, I kind of like, I'm not going to say I kind of got, like, got made fun of, but... You know, people judge you when they don't really understand you or they don't know you. If you knew what type of person I was, you know, be like, okay, that's not her. You know, she, you know, she really heard about something because most of the time I'm a very strong person, you know, and it's just because of the things that I've been through in my life and um, things that I had encountered, you know, at a very young age. Um, your trials and tribulations, they make you strong. So I became very strong and um, I used to be very, uh, you know, kind of docile and weak and cry about everything. But I grew up to be a, a strong woman, which is surprising. But, um, you know, it's because of God. And I'm thinking because, you know, all of the blessings that was bestowed upon me, it's like, I, I, I blame a great deal of it on this fast. I know that, you know, it's not according to what we do good or, you know, or our works, whether we get blessings or not, because God is just that merc merciful and graceful where he blesses you in spite of you just, I mean, you, you know, all of us is undeserving of blessings. You know, um, we, we not near to meet God's expectations because our thoughts are far from his thoughts are uh, his, his thoughts are far from our thoughts his his words are, you know, far from our words. And, you know, our, we could say we righteous, but our righteous to him is a filthy rags. You know, so it's like, you know, when, when you do a good thing in the sight of God and um, he He is pleased by it, um, that's a blessing. That's a blessing in itself. It's just not always the, you know, things that we do. And, and um it's not always material things, you know, that is a blessing. Like, oh, I got blessed with a car. Oh, I got blessed with this amount of money. Or I got blessed with a husband or a wife, you know. It's it's not so much always material, but, you know, it's it's the blessings that, that God puts on our life each and every day. The ones that we don't even recognize and thank Him for. And that's just to wake us up. Clothe us in our right minds. And when I say clothe us in our right minds, some people will wake up, you know, just be out of it. And don't even know where they at. You know, you could go to bed. Your mama could go to bed. You could talk we talk to your mama laughing with her the night before over the dinner table. You know, the next morning, yeah, she may awaken, but she may not be in her right mind. That's a sad thing. You know, we forget to thank God for waking us up. We forget to thank God for just keeping us in our right mind. We forget to thank him on these things because we think, well, this is supposed to happen. I'm supposed to get up. I'm supposed to uh, um, talk. I've been talking. I was born, you know, uh, this way. I wasn't born abnormal, so why not? You know, this is a, a, a supposed to be thing. But ain't nothing here supposed to be. You know, um, our, our our life is not promised. You know what I'm saying? We could, the day or tomorrow, you know, we could leave here. You know, so um, I just thank and praise God for his blessings. And I'm talking about the ones where, you know, that we all overlook and we think that's supposed to be i thank you lord for waking me up and closing me on right mind I thank him for the activities of my limbs you know i thank him that i'm able to to walk i remember when i was limping for two years because i had fractured my right knee thought i would never walk right again thought i would never get that knee back and uh how i'm walking and just getting around and you know walking fast and stuff if i'm, if I'm in a cart in walmart that's because I'm I didn't I'm tired I'm lazy or whatever but I shouldn't do that because I remember when uh 
before my leg had got fractured, I had said I would, uh, you know, I always just roll around in the cart, me and my friends, just for fun and stuff. And um, it was people really needing them carts, you know, and I had fractured my knee and I always needed to have one of those amigos, they call them. And uh, so it was like, then I started thinking, I'm like, you know what, all this time I could have been walking. I wasn't, I was riding around in this, this amigo thing and it was like, now I have to ride around in this because my knee is messed up, you know? And I was like, Lord, if I ever get my, my knee back, man, I'm, I'm walking. You know, it's leave these amigos and carts to the people who walking in with canes and can't hardly walk. Well, I got to take myself back to that. And I repent to God before you. I repent, Lord. Forgive me, Jesus. Because I have been riding around in them amigos. Forgot about what I had told the Lord. That I, I, I was not, not going to do that anymore. And um, I'm going to get my tail up and start walking. Walk, walk around that store. You know, ain't nothing wrong with my knee. I'm healed now. And uh, I just wanted to, to say that. But um, I, I just truly thank the Lord for his blessings of keeping us. You know, he keeps uh, strangers from your house from breaking in. He just keeps all bad things from happening to you. So many lifetimes God has spared my life. Um, I remember the time where I couldn't breathe. Um, a blood clot had broke off and went into my lung. I was I made it to the hospital just in time. I was always, it was always these testimonies where, oh, if you wouldn't have gotten her here in five minutes, she would have been gone. I, I'll never forget the time where... Uh, they thought I had congestive heart failure, but it was that clot and they was able to take care of it. I remember the time that I had an inner ear infection and um, I, I, uh, the room started spinning. Um, I don't know what happened. I just laid down and just felt like the floor was just like, it fell from underneath me. And I got up and I just wasn't feeling right. And um, I said, this is crazy. I, I'm not I'm not feeling right. And I kept telling uh, my friend at the time, I was like, take me to the hospital. Get me to the hospital. And um, she was like, are you are you uh, all right? I think you're just having a caffeine reaction. I said, no, get me, get me to the hospital, y'all. I said, I'm about to die. I said, I'm going to die. I'm dying. That's what I kept saying. I'm dying. You know when you're about to die. You know it. And, um, and it's like the scent of her perfume, the scent in the house of cleaning sprays and everything I started like intensifying. My smell had t started to like intensify. And uh, it was like real strong and it was making me sick to my stomach where I, I wanted to vomit. And um, when I was trying to go down the stairs, every time I try to put my foot to go down the stairs it like the step would just drop you know everything was just going crazy and everything was just discombobulated in my head and um it's like i could be sitting straight up like this and then it's like but the whole world to me was like this and even though i'm sitting straight up the whole world was like this the whole world was like sideways and it was like this jumping that is the scariest most feeling i ever have felt in my life before and then i was calling on jesus and even then when i was on that in, in that hospital bed in that er room i can hear that lady saying oh my god her blood pressure is sky high now you're talking about i think i was 19 or 20 years old i didn't have no kids then um i wasn't overweight it wasn't about my weight i wasn't overweight i was a nice size but i was stressed and i was i was un under so much stress at a young age going through a lot of things i was going through things that i felt like grown-ups should have been going through and um i remember her saying her blood pressure is so high wow they stuck something up under my tongue i don't know but i remember holding on to to the hospital the bed frame the bed on the side the hospital rails and the room was spinning so she said man why you not why you holding on so tight i just felt like i was I was just going to fly away if I let go, you know, and it was like, I was just didn't know that I was holding on to life. Didn't know I was holding on to my life. And all I remember was, I do remember repenting. I do remember repenting. I was like, Lord, forgive me, forgive me. But the way I was feeling y'all, I just wanted to go ahead and leave my body because that was the most terrible pain I ever felt. It's like somebody just putting you on this wheel and tying you up. And it's like, and then it's spinning this wheel over and over real, real, real fast. I don't know if y'all know this movie. This is what I'm about to tell. Well, y'all know my age. But uh, back in the day was this movie called The Black Hole. And these people would like fly up in space. And then when you get caught up in the black hole, whatever, you was going to be spinning, real spinning throughout 
you know, eternity. You're going to be spinning real fast and stuff like that. So that's how it felt. Like my body was just on this big spinning wheel and it was going rapid at fast pace. And I just wanted to die right then and there. Like, oh, I just want to die because this is too painful, you know. But how the Lord has spared me. And, you know, I, and I, I remember, like I said, I was repenting to him. Like, Lord, forgive me for whatever I did. Because I just, now I'm about to leave here. I'm about, to, I'm gone. I'm gone. And uh, all I know is I, I woke up. I, I felt, I don't know, I must have passed out, but I woke up and I was up in the hospital room. I remember before that, though, they was trying to get me to sign these papers. They was trying to get me to, to uh, give them permission to admit me. I wasn't in no shape, y'all. They was like, we don't have to do this. We're going to have to just take this girl. We, we can't get, she, she's not able, she's not capable. So they put me in the hospital uh, room, the room, had put me up in the room. And um, I woke up and, I, you know, it was just, I was just slobbing out my mouth and... You know, even I, the room has stopped spinning, but it's, the world was still like this. The world was the, like still sideways, like. And um, I just remember this nurse coming in. She just, she was so mean, cause you know it's like she just took it was Valium back then. She just took and jabbed the Valium in my leg. Like she didn't even take her time. You know how you, you know you hold the skin or whatever. And she didn't take her time. She just took that needle and just jabbed it in my leg. I look at the lady like she was crazy because I'm still in my right mind somewhat. But I remember them doing something. They were saying that my equilibrium was way off and they was doing these tests on me. And I remember just sitting here like this and like slobbing at the mouth. Like, I mean, I like, I, I felt like, okay, I'm never going to be normal again. This is my life. I'm going to be a vegetable, you know, because I thought back when I drunk that furniture polish when I was young, uh, when I was a baby, they said that I was going to either be blind, deaf, uh, or I was going to be a vegetable. And I thought that it was taking place. And I was like, I almost want to cry right now because I just thank God for his mercy on my life. I just thank God for all his blessings, y'all. I mean, things like this, we look around and we say we ain't got this and we don't have that. We don't have that um, car I want. I ain't got money like them. They got a nice house and they got this. And it's not about none of that, y'all, because I used to sit around and I used to say stuff like that. I used to be like, uh, if I just had my house the way I wanted, I'd be happy. If I had a new car, I'd be happy. If I had money to get whatever I want when I want, I'm, I'm be happy guess what that has taken place in my life that has taken place in my life but there was a void that was there that I was still unhappy that I still wasn't feeling myself I said what is this what is this now God then blessed me with everything that I needed everything that I wanted not needed because you can need a house and God will bless you with a house but you can want a big pretty one okay and I had got a big pretty house as y'all see and a new car God will bless you with a car. You need one. But it, it, it's, it's, it's like you need that car. But but the blessing and when you want a new car. You know what I'm saying? So it's a difference. It's a blessing. So I find myself like not happy still. And I thought that. I said, you know, I have to tell y'all this. It's not about the material things. But it's about the things that God does day for day. Oh, hallelujah. It's about the things that God does day by day that we just overlook we overlook y'all because we think like i said it's just a this is the way it's supposed to be i'm supposed to get up and go to the store i mean i'm supposed to walk around i'm supposed to talk i'm supposed to you know people are losing their health every single day just get up and thank god for the days that he strengthens you for the days that you still yet able to see there are people that i know have woke waking up blind you know, had they sight before they went to bed and you wake up, you th still think it's dark outside and you thinking, wait a minute, hold on. I know my eyes is open, but I can't see. You know, it's a blessing just in that. I'm just so grateful and thankful for the times in my life that I just knew, y'all, I was on my way up out of here. But God spared my life. That's what makes me think about the blessings of today. It makes me go back and say, remember that time you was, all, you was on your deathbed? Remember that time you was on your deathbed many a times. To be able to not breathe, y'all, is, is a terrible thing. It's a terrible feeling. And for me to get out the car, just to walk from, you pull up at the hospital, you get out the car and you walk up to the door and by the time you get in there and they say, what are you here for? Here I am. I can't, I can't breathe. That's a bad feeling. That is that that was a terrible feeling. I, I almost lost my life then, you know. And the nurse looked at me. She said, you are so young. And this, this happened at to me at what well, Terrell was born so Terrell 
Uh, I was, how old was I when I had Terrell? Jesus, Jesus. 32. I was 32 years old when I had Terrell. And uh, the, the nurse looked at me and said, you are the youngest person on this floor. Because everybody else, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I kid you not, they was in their 80s. They was 70s or 80s. I was the only one on the floor, like, you know. And then I started getting all depressed, like, nah, I got old people's disease. What's wrong with me, you know? And, uh, you know, but I'm even even in that, I'm thankful. I remember I was uh, re being released from the hospital after the five days that I was there and admitted. I was coming down the stairs, and it was a, a, a mother hunter. She was a praying warrior woman. She was a praying warrior. That woman was a warrior, prayer warrior trying to say and um i was i was coming out the elevator and she was like what are you doing here and i was telling her what happened to me she said oh that ain't nobody but god to spare your whole life she started she grabbed my hand and she just started praying with me and saying that how blessed i was to still be standing there telling her the testimony about what happened to me she said don't you know that take a that takes people while don't you know people lose their life a blood clot in their lung a lot of people don't survive but i i thank god for sparing my life with the blood clot in my lung, the furniture polish that I drunk uh, when I was a baby. I thought that I was, you know, this all this stuff was gonna happen to me. I was in that hospital for a month when I was younger. You know, the inner ear infection that I had at 19. It's just so much stuff that had happened in my life that is the reason why I praise God the way I do. It's the reason why I praise him like I do, y'all. I just thank God for all the things he has done for me, all, all the blessings. Like I said, it's not about money. It's about favor. It's about favor of God. It's about his mercy and his grace. And, and, and foremost of all, it's about his love. It's love over your life, the compassion that God has for us, that agape love that he has. It's so much, it's, 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 it's like overwhelming to me sometimes that a God that, you know, sits high, looks low, he can love me, that he can love me, he hears me when I cry out. I thank and praise God for that. I, I'm not trying to get too excited, but I just think about it. You know what I'm saying? Think about it, y'all. Just think about it. It's the ones that we don't even count our blessings. That's what they're talking about. Count your blessings. Count your blessings because a lot of people, they lose out. They lose out. And, uh, and before you know it, it's gone. You don't have it no more. So while I still got the activities of my limbs, while I still got breath in my body, while I still can see and hear and talk, I thank God and I give all honor to glory, all honor and glory to God for all that he has done for me. And I, I just wanted to tell y'all that it's just, it's the blessings. It's, it's just the blessings, the blessings that we don't look at as blessings. We forget. Don't always have to be materialistic. I just wanted to share that with y'all. And that's from my heart. That's from my heart. But I, I truly thank God. Oh my God. Y'all be blessed.